good evening. So today we are doing something a bit different. I'm doing a bit of a travel vlog. I'm literally going like 45 minutes away, but basically my brother lives in Newcastle for uni and last year I went to visit him like during like this time of year and it was just so much more fun. Like Halloween here is so shit, so I'm going again this year. But because he's in his second year now, he has a house. So I'm staying there, but like, is it gonna be disgusting? Yes. Imagine like four boys in a house left to their own devices. Like I am not prepared for this. So pray for me, that's gonna be really, really tough. Also my brother snores like there's no tomorrow. So oh, this is gonna be very challenging, but you know what, it's gonna be fun, we're gonna have fun times. And my best friend Elise is going over as well to visit her boyfriend Danny, because he's also at uni in Newcastle. So she's gonna be there and then we're gonna go for like nice brunches and all when everyone's at uni. However, like their nights out there, like it's, it is a bit extreme. Like, will I be alive by the end of it? Probably not. Especially, like, I'm still recovering from formal. I got eyelash extensions today. Can you tell? Also, like, I have no idea, like, what I'm being for Halloween, but we will jump that hurdle. Hurdle when it comes to it. Okay, very good. Also, pretty little thing, like, sent me loads of clothes so I can wear them, like, throughout the week when I'm in Newcastle because I won't have anything else to wear. Like, I don't, I've run out of clothes. I have no clothes. And I'll link them down below, so if you like them on me, you can get them. Not sponsored or anything, but just, I think I picked pretty well, okay? Are you ready to see this coat? I just feel like Kim Kardashian in it. Like, I'm really, I'm really popped off picking this coat. Like, is that coat not, like, your favorite thing in the entire world? It's so oversized. Do you want me to just show you my outfit? This is my airport outfit. Also, please, please, please don't even look at my room because it is so messy. And I cannot be bothered to clean it because I'm not going to be here for the next week. Yeah, okay, we get that stuff over there. Just don't look at it. Just don't look at it. I'm just literally wearing leggings, my black womper stompers, and then this big coat. Oh, it's such good lighting. You can see so well, Olivia. Woo! I just love it so much. It's so oversized and I'm so comfy. I'm going to sleep on the flight. Except not. You know what? did i downloaded sex in the city too watched the first sex in the city movie for the first time last night obsessed love it why am i like a 40 year old woman but yeah i don't the second one so i will be absolutely watching that on the flight also one more thing before i go so my flight gets in at like half six so i'll be at my brother's house for like seven and my mom was like oh you just need to eat dinner before you like because we're gonna go for like drinks or something tonight i don't know so my mom was like you just need to eat so she's made lentil bolognese and she's putting it in tupperware and making me fucking bring it on the plane like, what is going on? See, like, whenever I go through security, they're gonna, like, look at my bag and they're just gonna be, like, bolognese. This is such a situation that I don't wanna be in. They're gonna be like, why do you have bolognese in your bag? And I don't, I won't know how to answer them. Is that illegal? Am I smuggling bolognese? Oh, who even knows? Right, I need to go to the airport. I'm gonna be late. Stop holding me back. There's nothing holding me back. <laughs> Right, okay, so if you thought I'd be like a really good vlogger and vlog loads, you were completely wrong because it just wasn't happening. I think this whole trip, like I was with my brother who's like 20 and like all his friends and they're all boys and I just, I got a little bit shy and I couldn't do it. <laughs> Anyway, shut up a little bit. Okay, so I didn't really get a lot of footage. So there will be times where I'm gonna have to come on and just fill you in what happened. But anyway, I have a bit of a story about me getting there. I didn't vlog in the airport because it was on my own and I was like, fuck this. So basically the day I left for Newcastle, I was so hungry and it was lunchtime. So I had a wee look in the fridge and there was something left over Indian. Now I did get it four days before. So debatable if I should have done it or not, but I I wilfed it up. I know, mm -mm -mm. it's not okay. Anyway, I, all the plane was completely fine. It was all good. I watched Sex and the City too. I was having the time of my life. And then I got off the plane and I got in the Uber to my brother's house. And I kid you not, like my tummy started making money moves. Like, fuck. It was like, <laughs> I never heard the likes of it. Like it was, it was screeching. And I was like, is this about to happen? Like, I'm literally, like, I'm crying thinking about it because it was the most traumatic experience of my life. I thought, I just thought it was all going to come out. <laughs> and I was sitting there, like, thinking to myself, like, what am I going to say to this Uber driver? Like, I'm going to have to tell him. Like, I can't just leave if I'm... <laughs> okay, right, I'm just being dramatic. I didn't actually shit myself, but I really thought I was going to. I got to my brother's house and then he was like, yeah, we're going straight out. Like, I was just tired. I was sick and tired. But anyway, I went out anyway. Now you're going to see me the day after that. It's not a good situation. It's really not. 
I got in last night, went straight out. Horrible idea. The drinks here are two pounds. Like a double book rebel was two pounds. So like I had way too many. I wasn't even like that drunk, but I just drank way too much. Like my body was not loving it. Anyway, then had to sleep on my brother's wooden floor. Like it's not even carpeted. Like I just I slept on a hard wooden floor. PTSD, like proper PTSD. I just decided I've had enough. I'm booking myself into a hotel. My mum and dad, when I watch this, are gonna literally kill me. But like, you know what? Two nights for 70 quid, so worth it, so worth it. So I come to this hotel. I only checked in like a few hours ago, but I've been sleeping. Here's the really bad part. I got an Uber here. I threw up in the Uber. Like, no, 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 that is not okay. So basically I felt so sick, so I brought a plastic bag with me. And then I was like to the guy, I'm really sorry, but I'm about to throw up in your taxi. I can't believe that happened. And then I threw up in the plastic bag and he was like, what is going on? He's gonna give me such a low rating, but like, <laughs> I can't believe I threw up in an Uber. Is this real life? Oh my God, like I met up with Elise in the shopping center in town and I, I, I would have vlogged it, but like I was in no mood to talk to a camera. We were standing in the middle of this shopping center and I was like, Elise, the whitey's coming up my throat. And she had to bring me to the toilet and I sat there on a public toilet floor with my head in the toilet. It was truly sensational. I'm living my best life. Tomorrow's Halloween though, so it's a big night. I need to be in my best form tomorrow. I already want to go home. Like literally I woke up this morning and was like, I hate this place, it's cursed, I want to go back home. But I'm, I'm feeling better now, I've slept it off. I watched the new Shane Dawson episode. We're, we're back on track, ladies. We're, get, we're gonna get there. <laughs> I just want to go home. Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. This is my hotel room. It's very, very plain. It's literally just one bed. But that, that is all I need. I feel blessed to have a bed. I need to sleep for at least four or five years. I've literally been the worst vlogger. I don't know what, why I think that this is acceptable. I think I've videoed maybe twice this whole time I've been here. It's now Halloween. Right, so today I woke up. I literally had the biggest lie in ever. Like I was really living my best life. And then I went and met Elise for breakfast, which I videoed. literal diabetes like i have diabetes after eating that it was i had about two bites and then i had to throw it away it's such a waste of food but like you don't understand i need like four insulin shots after insulin in is that a thing who knows anyway i did a bit of shopping i bought two hoodies which are things i don't need but the thing is right hoodies are the only things i wear so i was like i may as well just treat myself and buy a few more so this is the first one it's like a wee one from urban outfitters i think it's quite cute love it right so then the next one basically there's, there's a shop that was like quite trendy and they did this like, car heart jumper and i absolutely love it so i bought it guess how much guess just a wee fluffy hoodie guess how much it was 170 quid uh, really wondering why i did that but like live life free there Ugh. i also forgot to mention right after i went shopping me and my friend went to weatherspoons i know that you can do that thing on your instagram story if you put up your table number and like what weatherspoons you're at like people can send you drinks so i was like oh it's fun a little bit of harmless fun let me put up my instagram story suddenly we got like six jugs and like 12 shots and it was only us too so like we couldn't finish it so like i said to my brother and like we said to a few like Belfast people and then suddenly I'd say every single person from Belfast just emerged and there was like 20 people there. It was literally half two in the afternoon, like this was so unnecessary and then everyone just started drinking. But you know what, it was Halloween, I'm on my holidays, leave me alone. I'm a fool, bitches. She is beauty, she is gracious, she's Miss United States. What a healthy, nutritious dinner. So I just finished my dinner. Annoy, I'm sorry to do my makeup. I am running a bit behind schedule, but like, I just don't care. I'm like, I don't have any motivation to go out tonight because we're going to some like warehouse thing and it's literally just gonna be like a big, greasy, sweaty warehouse with like hardcore techno. That does not sound enjoyable to me whatsoever. So I'm going there with Elise and then after that, I'm going to one of my brother's friend's parties. It could be a messy one. In fact, it will be a messy one. Right, I'll come back when my makeup's done. Should I do a cool transition? Uh, and boom. No, it's probably the worst transition you've ever seen in your life. But don't come for me. This is my makeup. Loki looks a wee bit cakey, but we'll not talk about it. My makeup's been going on so badly recently. I think it's because I've been having too many sunbeds. And then I get really tan. And my foundation's too light for me. So then it goes grey. Like, grey vibes. Love it. So now I'm going to my friend's house. And we're going to try on all our outfits and decide 
and then we'll go to the break. Oh, this is quite a long night, isn't it? This is my first option. It's like this red dress from Vanilla Thing, and I actually really like it, but I don't have any boobs to hold it up, and it's like got proper boob things, and it's just gaping because there's nothing there. So this is the first option for <laughs> Devil. I still need to try on another dress for Devil, and then potentially a cheerleader one, but I will show you when I have them on. But this is the first option. Oh, I don't know. Okay, this is the second option. The cheerleading option. I don't know if I'm gonna go with it, but I really like the costume, so I'm going to take an Instagram photo anyway, um, and just pretend I wore it. Also, do you wanna see Elise? She looks amazing, but she like. She, she's, she's a school girl, but she like high key just is a porn star. But anyway, I'll show you. Oh, <laughs> oh you look so good, Elise. Stop it. I just put the contacts in, and I swear I can't see a fucking thing. I don't know if I can do this all night, Elise. 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 I don't want to go anymore. <laughs> anyway, right, I'll show you what I'm wearing. But this red Urban Outfitters dress, and then just some devil horns. But like, I look shit. No, I like I'm out. Those I couldn't red my noses. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is. <laughs> You're like crying, mom, and you're like, but yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing well. I need stitches. Get me to the hospital. Maybe <laughs> good. How's your Halloween? Honestly, like, is this a low point in my life? Okay, it is the next day. If you could tell, I'm so sick. It's finally caught up to me. I'm so, so sick. I can't breathe through my nose. My throat's all sore, like, not thriving. I think I have the flu, potentially the swine flu. I don't even know. I woke up this morning at what, 12? Love that for me. And I uber eated, uber, uber eats, uber eated, who knows, a Starbucks. I don't know, I've kind of changed. I know it Uber Eats my Starbucks. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm meeting my mum now. Well, like in an hour in town, we're gonna have lunch and stuff and go shopping. So I need to get ready because this is the worst I've ever looked. Ready, I'll get ready. Ready, three, two, one. And we are ready. Ooh, ooh. Why is that like hiking kind of good? Anyway, <laughs> I really want to show you my outfit, but my brother doesn't have a full length mirror in his house. What is up with that? Well, yeah, he has a wee mirror here, so you can maybe see me. Why did I say that? Wee mirror, wee mirror, mirror, who knows? But this is the outfit. Why did I actually snap with this? Sorry, why did I just say that? <laughs> anyway, this is from, oh, it's like all pretty little thing, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So I'll link it all below. I also got this bucket hat from pretty little thing, and like, I love it. I just don't know if I have the confidence to wear a hat. Like, do I look stupid? Wait, no, wait, I think I quite like it. Okay, no way, this kind of tops it off, does it? Oh my god, no, do I look like Willy Wonka or something? <laughs> yes or no, yes or no. Maybe I'll wear it and then if I get too uncomfortable, I'll take it off. Right, so going into town now to meet my mom and make her buy me loads of clothes because I have no money left. I'm not joking when I say. I think I've spent about 50 quid on delivery each day since I've been here. It's not ideal, it isn't, but you know what? Shit happens. I'm off to town, bye! I'm gonna get the metro. I'm such like a little English uni girl. I'm not English, shut up. <laughs> okay, we're here with Paula. Hi guys. I've never been so happy to see my mom. She's brought us for lunch to this Ask Italian that I had delivered the past like four days, but who's quite saying not me? <laughs> Joking, it was lemonade. <laughs> Right, okay, hi, it's 8 o'clock, I'm home now, I'm in my brother's bed. Sounds a bit weird, he's not in it. <laughs> I'm I'm meeting my mum for dinner at half eight, so I actually do need to get a move on. I'm just gonna like change clothes, move it on like a nice pair of trousers or something, I don't know. I only got one thing in town, do you wanna see it? I actually think it's really, really pretty, but actually maybe it's not, let's see. Okay, this is it, can you see it? It's like, you can't really see up close, but it's like got wee dragons on it, it's pretty cute. I quite like it. It's quite different for me, like, I don't know what occasion I would wear this to, but... Right, I was a, a bit of a rush and couldn't show you what I'm wearing, but I'm wearing these trousers, aren't they quite cool? Let me buy Matthew! Anyway, we're at the Botanist, whatever that is, and we're going for dinner now. The lips were open! 
It's Sunday morning, mom has arrived in Matthew's uni house. This is where I've been sleeping the past few days. We just pushed two sofas together. Bit inventive of me, but anyway, we're going for breakfast now and then I'm leaving for the airport and I am so happy. I never am returning to England ever again. It has truly defeated me. But yes, I'll show you what I get for breakfast. Hey guys, we're here at the airport. We are very excited to get home, aren't we, Elise? Yay! Yay! We're never coming back here! <laughs>